Everyone's Dave here, and welcome to Bulletstorm VR Overview. So this one was postponed since last year, cause it was supposed to be a release scheduled for somewhere in September, but now it's January, so it's counting as a 2024 one. <laughs> and apparently it's a port of a rather old school game at this point, that a lot of people might be connecting to their childhood memories, but not me, so this is gonna be a fresh take on it. <laughs> So Bulletstorm VR is a fast-paced action shooter game where as a hot-headed mercenary Grayson Hunt you're literally going on a hunt to confront his ex-colleague that betrayed him in the days of being in a space assassin army and essentially gets stranded in the overall aggressive world of Stygia. First thought that comes to mind is that it's just a lot of stuff going on which normally isn't a problem for me cause I thrive in the chaos environment. The world seems to have a their big scale comparing to most of the titles on the platform. Combat is very glidey, arcadey and you know, this classic feeling of Doom style mechanics. The game seems to be very much putting a big emphasis on just pure situational mayhem with destruction and non-stop action, so it's gonna be a matter of proper dosage and pacing the whole gameplay. I don't necessarily know what to expect really, cause ports can go either way and they're pretty much relaxed on the dedicated fanbase that is already familiar with what's going on. Could be a potential playthrough or not, depending on the quality of the content. We just have to see if it translates well to virtual reality, cause not everything can be, however action shooter games have pretty much the easiest transitions of everything. They are already set in first person and what is VR if not that? <laughs> Let's go on a hunting mission. So frequently we're starting in space. <laughs> what? Here, have another drink, Gray. It'll help your aim. Here, he's my gun. I don't, I don't want to die. I keep the sight a few inches left of target. Challenge yourself. Nice. Look, the sooner you answer our questions, the better the odds we don't miss a bottle and evaporate your face. Okay, stop! Stop! Okay, please! I'll tell you, I'll tell you whatever you want, okay? Whatever, whatever you want to know. Whatever you want to know. What's the bounty on our heads? You, you're worth a half a billion per. Doubled after he raided that Confederate supply liner. Serrano himself put up the marker. Half a billion? Not bad. Maybe for you. I am worth twice that. Well, now, I appreciate hey, you being hey, honest with hell? us. Yeah, but you tried everything. to kill us, see? Telling us why doesn't earn you a reprieve. Pretty good. Shut up. With what? Third bounty hunter this week. Rano was stroking one hell of a murder boner, man. Let's go loot a few Confederate ships. Earn our bounty. The voice direction is not correct. There were heavy stutters in the beginning, like, Jesus. It looks kind of average. There's a lot of blurry stuff in terms of the actual textures. And what the hell is this virtual cake? But it's very human like models. Also blurry though. Just wonderful. You boys are what? Door stuck on something. Step aside, Doc. I'll deal with it my way. 
I don't like this UI here. Because I can't rest my hands at all. It. It's going to be just leading up what I'm touching. Shoot that thing. Ray, we're compromised here. I'm warping. Go for it. I'll be right up. Any booze left on this ship? Nope. But there is paint thinner in the storage bay. There's no recoil really. Oh, that's a fast sprint. Oh my god, so pixelated. It's a fake 3D. What the hell is going on? What is even going on? Like, the crash? Really? Holy cow. Woo! Your fancy new gravity boots make assassination time fun, Doc! Glad you like them. One should take no joy in killing. We are soldiers, not assassins. So what, you just maybe need like a softer title, Aishi? Is that it? How about, uh, Disagreeable Person's Disposal Unit? Pushing me, Rel. No, but if I was gonna, this would be the place to do it. Wow. The perspective is crazy. I've never 
experienced something like that in VR before. <laughs> Talking about the cutscene, it's the worst I've seen <laughs> in the history of VR. In terms of quality, it uses some kind of fake 3D features to make it more immersive, but it's very weird to look at, especially in the headset. But the game goes for stuff that was never done before, so I'll give them that. <laughs> oh, well, you know, why don't we call downstairs? Let them know we're on our way. Send them our itinerary. Mm, doesn't add up. The kind of money Novak has. We should encounter some resistance. Well, let's just call off the mission, man. Skippy Granola's groovy dream catchers picking up some boomer vibes. It's not too bad, but still not good. <laughs> Let's do it. Ishi, stay with the girl. Hold your ground. Go down, fight. Woo! You guys shoot. I can't tell. I like how the game switches the cutscenes from 2D to 3D. Oh my god. What's going on with the vision now? I'm throwing my head and the frames are overlapping or... This is a hot mess. Dear God. Ishii. Ishii. Ah, damn it. Snap out of it. Quickly, get him to the infirmary. Doc, is he gonna... Just go. I'm sure you saw that frame. Oh my god. How he's gonna be alive in the future? <laughs> that thing's hanging by a thread. Need to be getting the hell off this ship. You're not leaving Ishii. Not if there's any chance we can save him. Okay, okay. If Doc thinks we could do something. I need you to fix it, Doc. All those cyber patch jobs you did on the field, there must be... I can replace fingers and limbs, but look at him, Gray. Half his body is crushed. At least try. He'd do it for any one of us. Maybe. Maybe I could, but I'd need a charged fusion cell to power the bio-weld. Ah, oh, been out of him for months, Doc. Damn it! There's gotta be another way. Ulysses escape capsules. Uh, a few jettison. Wait a minute. Engines will have cells. Yes, sirree. Let's go, Rel. Our boy's time is short. Just keep him alive. Be right back. It's time to end, and I'm very glad. <laughs> I can't say it's complete gutter, but it's not good at all. I don't like the UI that I need to hold my hands to my chest all the time to not pop off these two icons constantly. Performance is dropping, frames are just all over the place. I appreciate that the game goes for visually different stuff that I've seen so far in VR, but this whole port is a hot mess by the exact definition. The cutscenes are switching between 2 and 3D constantly and then game sections are separated by one two minutes of overall playing time so this is a no from me as well in terms of the project itself no offense but an actual offense <laughs> someone with a brain of a child developed the storyline dialogues and the overall ambience like it's not a game for nowadays standards at all i don't completely hate it but it's definitely the worst release of this year and we're just getting started <laughs>